Hello lovelies, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lizzie and I post a lot of beauty related content here on YouTube. If they're the videos you love to watch then please hit that subscribe button down below. Today we are testing Beauty Bay's Berry Palette and seeing as we're doing a testing video on a new palette, I might as well test their new face palettes out as well. So basically going to do like a full face of Beauty Bay on my face because I have eye bases, brow stuff, lip stuff too. So let's get into this palette. This is their new Berries palette. I believe it retails for £23, I want to say. I wasn't too sure if this was the one that they'd released before, but it actually is a new palette, so it just looks like this. Very, very nice. You've got, like, more pinkier tones at the top and then more purpley tones at the bottom and then, like, some maroon shades. So I'm very, very excited to play with this palette. It's very big. But I do love these kinds of palettes. So I think it's time to put this on my face. I would do swatches, but I think that would just make this video very, very long. So let's just dive straight into it. First thing I'm going to do is put the eye base on. I've got shade three. It's my perfect, perfect shade. I've got a backup of it as well, which I'm still not needing to use just yet. But yeah, if you're like my skin tone, shade three is perfect. So instead of lifting the palette up every time, I'm going to kind of put a picture of the palette in the corner and just put an X on the shade that I'm using. So the first shade I'm going to go in with is... Ooh, so many to choose from. We're going to use Rosewood. Oh, this is a lovely shade. Oh, the next shade I'm going to take is Icing. This shade looks gorgeous. I'm essentially using the two bottom rows, I feel like. They're more me shades. Next shade I'm going for is Distance. This is so up my street again. I'm just going to focus this right in the crease and then I want to put one shade on the outer corner and I know what shade I'm going for. Last shade for mattes I'm going in with is Journal. This one is just so nice and deep, which will be perfect on the outer corner. All right, next shade, let's go in with dun, 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 Paris. This looks stunning. Oh, it's a bit too purple. Let's try soda. Yeah, that's more like it. I wanna show you how well these will work with just your finger. Can you see that? Looks so good. Okay, just added some eyeliner. This is what the eyes are looking like. This palette blended beautifully. The mattes worked really well. I'm super, super impressed with it. So I'm just gonna quickly hop off and do some base and then we will get into the face palettes. I'm so excited for these, literally. I feel like I'm gonna use the bronzer and then the blush from here and the highlight. I might just dip into both of them. So cannot wait for that. Base is on, let's use these palettes. So the first palette I have is the Fair palette. This is in the shade, I actually don't know, but this is what the palette looks like. You get bronzer, two blush, and a highlight. And you know what, for the sake of this video, I will swatch these because it's not as big as this bloody palette. Wow, that is quite pigmented. 
So you've got the blush, bronze, highlight, and another blush under there. That is gorgeous. I love that. That highlight looks banging too. You've got the darker one, which just looks like this. Now, obviously, the bronze is too dark, but I think I could get away with these three. But let's swatch. It's going to be weird. I'm going to use my left hand to swatch. That is the deeper palette swatch. I'm sorry if my swatches aren't great. I was using the wrong hand. That blush at the top is called Spice. I feel like I could use that as a bronzer. Then you've got what more looks like a contour, then that highlight, and then that blush. And the blush from this palette is definitely what I want to use. Let's start off by using the bronzer in the Fair palette because the one in the Deeper palette is too dark for me. And I feel like the one in the Fair palette is going to be too light. Oh, it would do. Okay, not as bronze as I was usually like, but it's not too bad either. All right, well, if you're my skin tone, you can get away with that. You really can. Now I wanna go in with the deeper palette and I wanna take the blush in Rosewood, which is this rosy shade here, Whew, which is very pigmented. Wow. It's enough for both cheeks. That is gorgeous, but it's very, very pigmented, so you can go in with a light hand. On camera, it looks very harsh, but in the mirror, it doesn't look too harsh. I think for highlight, I'm going to go in with this one here from the lighter palette. This one's called Precious. Oh, it's very glittery. But that is stunning. That is like a perfect gold shade for me. Need to put some setting spray on. I'm going to use the brow fixer from Revolu uh, Revolution from Beauty Bay, Bay and just put that in my eyes, in my um, eyebrows. <laughs> and then for inner corner brow bone highlight, I feel like I need to go in with, oh, there's a shade at the top called Albar that looks like a proper me shade. pinky undertoned. All the shimmers have a different undertone so I'm actually just going to use the highlight and go in my inner corner with that. Yeah, that's much better. Brows and mascara are complete, let's do lips. So I have a combo that I really love using. It's the Vintage Lip Liner with Jam Lipstick, which just looks like that, it's gorgeous. And then I'm gonna put the shade Black Current in the center as a gloss. I'm gonna love this combo. I am living for this lip combo. It is such a stunning combo, I love it. Now, let's talk about the palette. The palette is gorgeous, I love it. There's so many different shades in here to use. I love that, I love the fact that you've got like your pinks, you've got your berries, there's some peachier tones in there, you've got some maroons in there. This is definitely one of those palettes that I could see myself gravitating towards again and again and again. It's lovely, the sh shades, uh, the matte shades blended out perfectly. I did go in again once I'd put the shimmer on and added some of the mattes because I felt like it was a bit patchy but once I did add a second layer to them they were lovely because I feel like one layer they were quite sheer and you had to build them up for a second layer. The shimmer with your finger works perfectly but I'm so used to using my brush. I see loads of people using fingers but I use a brush and it usually works. This didn't really work with my brush that much which is fine because I use my finger and the brush just to tidy it up. So yeah I highly recommend these massive palettes but like only if you get a discount on them because to be fair I don't like paying plus £20 for a palette from Beauty Bait or from anyone to be honest but yeah next thing is the palettes the palettes are gorgeous I do love them they are something that I'm going to reach for a lot like they're definitely worth it if you 
want something to travel with or you just need a face palette so it's easier you're not like dipping into like a blush a bronzer a highlight these are so nice I love that rosy tone blush and the bronzer actually really worked for me I would have preferred it if it was like a little bit darker I just do wish that companies that do two face palettes would do a third one like this is not going to suit every skin tone they needed to have done like a fair to medium one then like a deep, um, medium to dark one and then a deep to dark one and then that would have been much better but just two is never enough for a face palette never so yeah guys i hope you did enjoy this video please smash a huge thumbs up subscribe down below and i'll see you in my next one bye